Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana continues to hold the $30.50 level, um, which means a bullish breakout to the upside is still possible, even though I have my doubts. Yeah, at the moment, this chart does not show a lot of strength. It actually shows quite a lot of weakness. We've been in this range now for a while. We are holding below the 50 day moving average that you can see here in yellow. Yeah, we had resistance here. We had resistance here, we had resistance here, and any other move to the upside will now be at risk of getting pushed back by the 50 day moving average, which is currently at around about $33.80. Yeah. Um, at the moment, this could still be the um, wave one of a larger breakout. Yeah. So basically, we could say that a low was made here, a swing low at $30. $30.50 that we moved up in a wave one in yellow here. We came down in a wave two. Here we get a problem. So this would be part of a bullish breakout pattern, an impulse in a wave one and a correction in a wave two. The problem is we retraced basically 99%. That is not a bullish signal, but it did not invalidate the bullish possible bullish pattern. Um, one point that I want to make here is that this move down it looks actually very corrective, which confirms that it could very well be a wave two, okay? But then what I would wanna see now is a breakout in a wave three that should normally be very bullish. So if this was here a wave three, it should really start to moon, which it doesn't at this stage. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, I would wanna get above the 35, 30 level, which it doesn't do. And then to be more bullish, we need to get above the $39 level, which at the moment we don't see. So someone said, how can it be that you're bullish on Solana whilst you say that Bitcoin should come down once more? I'm not bullish on Solana. I'm purely mentioning here, this could be a bullish breakout pattern, but it is, I'm very skeptical about this. It's not high confidence because we have retraced 99% here, which they normally don't do in a bullish breakout pattern. And we don't have the confirmation, so we have not broken above the $39 level. As long as we are below $39, it can very well be a bearish pattern here in that we came down from the high at $48 in an impulse in a wave one down that we retraced in a wave two because you can also count this as an ABC. That's possible as well. And that we are going to move down in a wave three, um, which could take us down to $20 and below, to be honest. yeah. But at the moment, a lot of indecision in this chart, no reliable pattern. A, re uh, a more reliable pattern will occur if we drop below either $30. That Then I would say the blue count is very much in force here, in power. Um, that is a bearish count. So if we drop below the $30 level, the bearish count I think is going to make a new low, even lower than the June low below, I think that was $26. Um, reason for that is that the $30 level is a very, very important level. It is the 88.7% FIP level of the larger Solana cycle, and it is the 78.6% FIP level of this wave one. Yeah. So if we count this bullish from the low in June to the upside as a leading diagonal, a wave one, then the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level is the $30 level. That is always a level. As long as we're holding that, there is a realistic chance for a breakout to the upside, but below the 78.6% FIP level, it makes it very unreliable. And it already is unreliable because a leading diagonal Elliott wave pattern is already less reliable than an impulse. And you have here in this subwave pattern, um, the 99% retracement. So I'm not convinced this is a bullish breakout. Um, it is still possible technically, um, but I have my doubts about this. So at the moment, I think this is something to sit on the um, sidelines for me to watch, to see what the market is doing and then to react as soon as we have a more reliable pattern. Again, to the upside, a breakout pattern would be $39. If we do this yeah, and break above, th first of all, in the short term, 35.50 here, that smaller degree wave one, and then, um, more importantly, the $39 level. That would invalidate at least here imminently the wave two, uh, which doesn't mean it will suddenly go bullish, but it is certainly something that needs to happen to enable here uh, a more bullish uh, perspective on the chart. Okay, and that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.